Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be working on building a main battle tank. Now, I have done this multiple times, but it hasn't quite worked out the way we wanted it to in those videos. So, today we're going to go ahead and design something that hopefully will be really, really good. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so let's go ahead and start a new one. There we go. Excellent. Let's go to freeform hulls and grab this guy and let's go to mobility, go to fenders and turn them off. We don't need them. They're then unnecessary in this situation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to design the tank to look how we want it to look. We're going to start with the tracks. We're going to make them slightly wider because I think that's probably a good idea. There you go. Awesome. We're then going to go straight to track segments. We're going to make them look like this because I believe that's the most modern looking ones. Uh, we're then going to make them longer. So we're going to make this not 0.3. Bosh. There you go. And the thickness is actually going to be uh, 0.15. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. I think that actually works. Um, I think I'm going to make it even wider than that, though. We're going to go to 0.85. Yes. We're also going to separate them a little bit more. Uh, maybe even two meters wide. Bosh. And, um, yeah, that's good. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, make it a little bit longer because I feel like it should be. Uh, we're going to go with probably eight meters long. That looks way too big. Maybe seven meters long instead. Bosh. Uh, and yeah, that actually doesn't look too, too bad. We're going to leave it so that it looks really low, uh, because I want it to be a low profile but wide tank. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and build it upon the tracks, if that makes any sense at all. I think they're called sponsors, but I'm not sure. Anywho, let's go ahead and design the tracks uh, first. So, the tracks themselves are done. We're going to go ahead and now build in the rest of it. So the idler wheel is going to be added to. There we go. We're going to go ahead and make it slightly smaller, though, in terms of width so that it fits within the tracks. That's good. We're then going to add to the road wheels. There you go. And uh, just make them fit in there. So bring them out to here. And that should be good too. And the sprocket itself, I'm going to leave up there. Um, but it's going to be relatively small. So there you go. It's actually going to stay about the same size as it is. As, it is. Um, as for everything else, the road wheels, I kind of want to make them slightly bigger. Uh, and that looks pretty good to me. I like it. Nice. So, sprocket itself is going to look like this. There you go. We're going to go to the sprocket mount. It is going to look like that. We're going to go to the idler wheel, and that is going to look like this guy. And we're going to continue using those guys as we go. So that one, there we go. That actually doesn't look too bad at all. It's kind of what I want. Uh, the return rollers are going to look like this. However, they are very hidden, so it doesn't really matter. Track segments are going to look like that. And spares are going to look like the track segments. So that's okay. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is design the front end. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I want this to be. I really don't know. Uh, but the way I'm thinking of doing it is extending these guys out sideways and bringing them like that. We're then going to extend, like, I don't know, these individually. I know this is going to be, like, a bad way of doing it. But we're going to bring those forwards like this. And we're actually going to go ahead and squidge that down like so. But, yeah, and there's a big but here. We're going to extend this guy forwards. However, before we do that, we're also going to extend this guy... All right, we're going to bring that forwards all the way to the same point as these guys. And then we're going to go ahead and do this, bring it down a little bit further than the rest. This guy can actually merge with these two. So grab that, merge it with this. There we go. Grab the top one, merge it with the bottom one. There we go. All right, that's actually not bad. Um, it's kind of what I wanted anyway. So we're now going to go to faces. Uh, for some reason, I cannot select this piece. <laughs> We've already broke it. We've already... What in the world? How have I already broken it? Alright, we're going to do it slightly differently then. We're going to extend all of these guys at the same time. Uh, I want the one in the middle to actually be able to go separate, but it won't actually be able to work that way because of the way I've just done this. Because now, if I do this, they're attached together, as you guys can see. Um, but that might not be like too much of an issue. If I bring all of them forwards at the same time, uh, it might still work. So if we bring these guys out here like this... Uh, and then I bring these guys down, I, I guess squidge them together? I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> but yeah, if we squidge these guys together also, uh, it might still work, but not really, does it? That, that's not quite right. It's not. Alright, so silly idea anyway, that's fine. Let's go ahead and bring these guys out forwards like so, and we will squidge them together. So we're going to do this as the squidgy maneuver, that's okay. Uh, and I think I'm going to squidge it to a 
point, pretty much. I can merge the top one with the bottom one, and that will bring it to a point, so that's okay. We're then going to go to points. We're going to grab the bottom side of this and extend these guys out forwards just a tiny touch. And that's going to make it work a lot nicer. We're then going to select everything. We're going to bring it down to the point where it'll fit. And I think that's all right. I'm also going to go ahead and extend the bottom bit down slightly. And that's all right, too. There you go. Excellent. All right, that does mean that the top end is going to have to be extended backwards a lot more. Uh, but again, that's okay, too. So now we've got this. It should work. Maybe. All right, next thing, we're going to go ahead and grab these guys on the rear. We're going to push these guys backwards like so. Uh, and actually, we are going to go ahead and extend it and squidge it together again because that's what I want to do. Actually, just drop this bit backwards. There you go. Grab this guy and the one next to it and send those up. And we'll probably leave the back end like that for now. I know it's maybe a little bit odd, but I think it'll work. Also, it's very boring at the minute, but don't worry about that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go to faces. We're going to go ahead and grab every single one of these. Yes, and we're going to extend them upwards. I don't know whether this is a good idea. But yeah, we're going to extend them upwards like so. We're then going to go to the front of these guys and angle those backwards uh, just the same as everything else. That's okay. However, it is actually going to be extended uh, a lot further up than even this. So let's grab all of these. Not the side pieces. We don't need those. Uh, but essentially, it's going to go up to about there. Okay, that's crazy, I know, uh, but it's fine. We're going to go ahead and angle this backwards so it looks like it's still flat-ish. Oh, that doesn't look great. <laughs> that doesn't look great at all, but okay. I want to see what this looks like. It might look very strange, but it might look okay. So if we extend these guys over here, what does that actually look like? I think this could work. I think it could work. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually extend these guys upwards. Is that weird? Is that an odd thing to do? I don't know. Um, all right, okay. Undo everything. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, yeah, undo, 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 and uh, da -da -da -da. undo. Yes, undo the stretch. Undo the stretch, my guy. Get rid of it. No, no, and... Nope, there we go. All right, cool. So we're actually going to go ahead and bring this guy upwards a little bit more so that it is definitely uh, above the tracks. All right, and it is. It is definitely above the tracks. So now if we extend it, okay, we'll bring it upwards as much as we wanted to before. Uh, we're going to go ahead and angle it backwards slightly. Uh, yeah, just like this. That's good. And then we're going to go to faces, extend it over the side again, bring it out until it's well over the side. And that'll be A-OK. -okay. All right, it's very wide, but that's OK. It's supposed to be. Uh, next thing, then. We're actually going to go back to mobility. We're going to go to fenders, like we, we said we weren't going to do at the start. And I said they were unnecessary. <laughs> we're going to use them. So uh, separate them uh, out to the edge of there. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we're going to make them wider, obviously. And they don't actually get wide enough. It's really annoying. That is extremely annoying. Um, separation, make them... I guess I'm just going to have to like build it in anyway and hope for the best. So put that there. Okay. Stretch it forwards so the front offset is actually a lot more, a lot bigger. And we can leave that like that. The scale of the front end is going to be a little bit bigger. There you go. And the section length is going to be bigger too so that it all fits in. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I can't make it any wider because this is as wide as it goes. That's annoying. All right, so what we're going to do in order to actually fix that situation is we're going to go ahead and drop one of these in here. Um, I know it's not amazing uh, the way this is going to work, but it's fine. So if we go ahead and we make it skinnier, that's okay. We're going to then move it over into the right place, which is just next to this one. We're then going to stretch it backwards uh, to here where it fits on. There you go. And we're also going to go ahead and attach one of these to there. Angle it down so that it looks nice and then go from there. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. But yeah, extend this this way. Oh, it needs to be bigger. It does. It needs to be way bigger. Uh, bring it down to the middle of there, then stretch it. Oh, it does actually stretch down from the top. That's interesting. All right, bring it upwards. Put it in line with this one and we'll leave it there like that. That is, that is something else. It's quite ugly. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually extend this guy. Actually, no, we should just grab this, grab this, uh, bring it out. There you go. And bring it backwards in order to actually have it work properly. 
Very nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not quite right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought I was being smart. That is not something that I'm capable of. Okay, extend this backwards, just like so. We're not going to merge it with anything, uh, and we're going to leave it there. Okay, that's probably fine. So it looks a bit weird as of right now, but um, once we spawn it in, it doesn't look too, too weird. I don't think so. I feel like maybe it needs to be a little bit longer. So we're just going to go ahead and grab all of the back end. There we go, including this guy, that guy, and that guy. And we're going to bring it all backwards. Actually a good chunk, like that. Uh, maybe even a bit further. There we go. And then we're going to go to mobility, do the same thing. Uh, first off with the fender, we need it to obviously go backwards further. So we're going to bring it to there, that's good. And then we're going to do the tracks as well. So hopefully I can bring this backwards. I can't. Okay, good. Length. Alright, it does come backwards if we do this. And then we can move this bit backwards too. So that it fits in. There, okay, excellent. And then we can either make the road wheels bigger, or we can make them smaller in order for them to fit. And I think bigger. Yeah, I think like that. Okay. That looks good. I feel like that looks good anyway. Sure. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do is actually go to compartments. Uh, I need to figure out where we've actually got all of this stuff. So we got all of these guys right here. What I'm going to do is actually grab this guy, this guy, and this guy. And I'm going to stretch all of those further forwards like this. I'm then going to go to faces. We're going to grab every single one of these. Uh, there we go. We're going to extend those up. And I think I'm going to have to actually squidge them in. But what I'm actually thinking we do is grab the front and just stretch those guys backwards. Oh, why isn't that doing things? <laughs> why isn't that doing things? Ugh. Grab that one too. Why is that there? Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Okay, right. Merge this with this one. And then it should be okay. I think it is. Alright, so grab this, this, and this. And now bring them all. Okay. Merge this one with this one. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Unfortunately, that doesn't even seem big enough. It really doesn't. I feel like we might even need to stretch it out a bit more, but let's do this for now. Okay, let's grab these guys. And bring those forwards a tiny touch. And I guess leave it a lot like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think we can work with this, maybe. Alright, so uh, the next thing we need to do then is probably actually add the side skirts in order to make this whole bit look better. Uh, and I think we can actually get away with doing that. So let's go to mobility. Oh, is it mobility? I don't think it is. I think it's actually crew. Yes. And then it's structural. Oh, it's riveted panels. Oh, uh, yeah. So obviously it's an MBT, but we are going to be using riveted panels for it. I know that doesn't make much sense. But um, yeah, they look like the things that we need. So we're going to go ahead and use them. Pretend they're not rivets. Pretend they're just something else. <laughs> That's what we're going to go with. Pretend that they are something else. Okay, anyway, um, how do I, is there an easier way of doing this? I don't know if there is. So we're just going to go ahead and shove this on here. And we're then going to shove another one next to it. We can't, never mind. All right, put that there and bring it out. Mm -hmm. There, okay, there-ish. Bring this up and then bring it backwards. Yes, okay. So in order to get these in the right places, we're just going to go ahead and smack them on there and do it like that. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do this, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so there we go. I've added a bunch more of those. I honestly think they look pretty good. Uh, we're now going to go ahead and attach the front one, because I feel like it needs to be added. So we're going to add it. Bring it upwards to the right position. Go ahead and bring it out to the right position again, and turn it backwards again to the right position. Hopefully, hopefully I've actually fit this in quite nicely, and it all actually fits together. We're very close to that situation. I'm going to move it backwards until it fits, and we're going to leave it like that. All right, what do we think? I think it might look a little bit weird, but at the same time, I think it's going to work. Uh, again, actually, the back end. I'm not sure what to do with the back end. A lot of them seem to have their sprocket actually on show. I'm not entirely sure what the intention of that is. I'm assuming that it's to not get mud stuck in it, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, but we might cover it on ours. In fact, I'm going to cover it slightly. So we're going to use one of these. I'm going to flip it around so that it somewhat fits on. We're going to bring it out into the right location. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and slot this on here. And then I might even stretch it. This might be the only piece on the side that we actually stretch. 
Here we go. Let's do that. Take it into the location where it needs to be. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. Honestly, why not? I think that looks good. All right, so now that we've actually done that, I want to go to livery, and I actually want to make this thing like a tan color because uh, it's modern, so we're going to make it look like a modern-ish. A modern-ish vehicle. Uh, metallic? I guess a little bit. There we go. Brightness? Uh, up a bit. Saturation? Yeah, okay, so that's what we've got. I think that works. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this so far. All right, okay. I, I kind of feel like I've made a bit of a boo-boo on this. I, I honestly feel like I'm going to merge these guys together. I said I was going to do that at the beginning, but yeah, let's do it. So merge that guy with that guy, that guy with that guy, that guy with that guy, and this guy with this guy. Bam. We're then going to grab all of these, and I feel like I'm going to make it a, I, I guess, a more angled bit on the top. This might be very strange to do. I don't know, though. Um, but I'm feeling it. So we're going to go ahead and sort of angle this backwards a tiny bit more. Uh, I might actually bring these guys upwards slightly, uh, including that guy, I guess. There you go. Um, I feel like that's a that's what I want for some reason. <laughs> I feel like that's what I want for some reason. So if we extend this guy down, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and push it forwards so that it somewhat fits, I think that's a good idea. All right, so if we go to both sides, we'll do it. No... I've managed to do some merging merging magic that has broken the vehicle. That's annoying. That is annoying. Invert. Okay. We it's now two. Un okay. Undo everything that I just did, including the mergers. Un undo the mergers. All right, here we go. Let's see if this let's see if this works. All right, it's got nothing to do with any of these things. This is it. Here we go. Undo merge. Okay. I can't undo the rest of the mergers. Yikes! No! Alright, so I just selected every single surface from the inside and inverted it, and now it's back to normal. However, once I go to points and I go to this guy and this guy and I merge them, uh, I actually, it still works. That's actually fine. Okay, excellent. I do think I still want to move these guys on the front upwards a little bit, so it's a little bit more angled. That's fine. We're then going to bring these guys on the bottom backwards a little bit, and I might move these guys backwards slightly as well, just to make it fit a little bit better. I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe it's better, maybe it's worse, I'm not sure. Also, I kind of feel like I don't want this livery. Uh, I want to go with something else. Um, maybe even just that. That might be a bit strange to go with, but maybe actually that. I I've never really gone with it, so maybe. Uh, saturation higher, yes. Metallic, sure. Roughness? No. Uh, brightness? Up a little bit? Sure, we'll go with that. It's not something that I've went with. Ever. Ever, actually. Alright, so, we're gonna go ahead and save this as Modern MBT2. There we go, that's fine. Uh, actually, is there any other camos that we could use? Snow? I mean, snowy camo might be fun. Desert? Nah, none of those. I don't like any of those. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with this. Or this one? Or this one. I think this one. Maybe. Alright, so next thing we're going to do then is go to compartments, go to turrets, and attach this guy onto here. Now clearly this turret is going to be pretty big, but uh, we need to design it in a way that it looks good too. So, uh, we're going to squidge it to begin with, and yeah, this is going to be interesting actually. I don't know how I'm going to start this. Uh, we're going to bring it out quite far, because it is going to be quite a big turret. Um, I don't really want a shot trap, but... Maybe we want, maybe we're going to have one? I don't know. All right, let's just go ahead and design something. Hopefully we can make it look nice in the end, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and extend both of these guys upwards. Actually, uh, bring this guy up first. There you go, a little bit. I don't know how big this turret's going to be, but I essentially want them both to be about the same size uh, in terms of height. So there we go, we'll go with something like this. We're then going to grab the edge of this piece and the edge of the bit below. And we're going to drag those inwards. Yeah. I feel like that might be a bit strange, but it is sort of what I want to do. We're then going to go to faces. We're going to delete this guy and this guy. If I then go to this guy... Let's see how this goes. I don't know how this is going to go. This one and this one, and fill it. We then go to this guy, this guy, and this guy, and fill it. We then do the same down here. To there, and then up to here. Fill. 
We then go from there into here and then down to there, Phil. Uh, okay, that's not quite right. That is not quite right on the bottom bit. But the top bit, perfectly fine. So, it's this piece to this piece. Oh no, it is. It is right. Was it right, Phil? Yeah, no, that's, that's, no, it's not quite what we want. Um, hmm. Alright, this is what we want. So, it's going to be a flat side, uh, for now. That might be a bit weird, but we can, we can, we can deal with that. There we go. Okay, excellent. And then if we grab this piece, we can actually do this. Okay, yeah, which is very weird, but sure, we're going to go with it. And that gives us a, a nice shape. Okay, excellent. That's fine. So, we then go to these guys, and we extend it backwards. All right, we keep that nice, lovely shape uh, as we go backwards. We then need to, like, squidge it, extend it up, and bring it up and over. Hmm. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. So, uh, extend this. There you go. Excellent. We're then going to bring it backwards as it is. Um, I'm going to extend it upwards as it is as well, and we're going to actually extend it backwards like this too. We're then going to squidge it a little bit, like so, and we're also going to bring it down on the top piece. But I also... I don't know. Is that right? I mean, it looks right. I don't mind that. I think that actually looks pretty sick. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with that. And then we need to figure out the front of the turret. And I'm not sure how we want to do it. I've just spilled coffee everywhere. Oh, God. One second. All right. So we can either have it be like a flat front. Uh, or we can have it be like a pointy front. And I'm not sure which one I want to go with. Or we can have it so that it's angled backwards, and then obviously it's it's got a bit of bit more armor in that in that respect, especially in this game. Um, or we could do something like this. I mean, that does sort of work. That does kind of work. And then if we stretch it all forwards until it fits at the very front, I honestly think I'd like that. I I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we are going to extend it backwards a tiny bit. We're going to extend it forwards and squidge it in a little bit. Bring it down so that it's it's flat. Bring it in a lot more. And then extend it out forwards. Like this. And then I think we've got a decent turret there. I think that looks really nice. But then I'm thinking, should it be wider? Like, like should the edge pieces on this actually come out a lot more? And make the entire turret a little bit wider? I feel like yes. The answer is probably yes. I'm then going to extend this guy backwards a lot more too. Um, because I can. So there you go. Alright, yeah. We're going to roll with that. We are. Okay, so next thing uh, is the actual mantlet itself. I don't know which one of these to use. I'm kind of feeling like this one. And then if we like somehow manage to fit it in there, that would be excellent. But I don't know whether that's going to be something we can do. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Because that obviously looks wrong. <laughs> that looks very wrong. Um, but if I can design the turret to fit that or to accommodate that, maybe that's okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or we use the T-34 one, and uh, I, I honestly think that somewhat fits a little bit better, which is fine. I can maybe decorate around the outside of this, make it look a little bit nicer, and that's what I'll do. In fact, yes, that is definitely what I'll do. So we'll leave it as is. I've obviously extended this and made it bigger, the T-34 thing, uh, the mantlet, and uh, that's okay. So, how big should the gun be? I'm thinking 152. I know that seems massive, and that is pretty big. Um, but why not? <laughs> that's, that's my response to that. Why not? Uh, six meters long seems a bit big. <laughs> six meters long seems way too big. Uh, right. That's it. <laughs> Repellent length actually is going to be 1,000. I'm going to do it. One, 1,000. Bosh. Okay, excellent. So, the gun itself, two meters long for the first bit. Two meters long for the second bit, but that bit's going to be recoiled. And then we're going to add this guy to the end. Or actually, should we? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have anything on the end, but yeah, I don't know. We're going to do it, and we're going to add this guy to here and leave it like that. Okay, I think that fits. I, I, I think that works. Sure. All right, I'm now thinking this bit's a bit weird. Uh, I am. I'm thinking it's a little bit weird. So let's go to points, grab this guy, and extend it inwards a lot more. And I think that looks a lot better, except on the other side, it is obviously... Uh, still wrong, actually. So delete this guy, delete this guy, and we need to put it in the same as the other side. So this guy to this guy, to that guy, Phil. Okay, so that's 
similar. It is actually the same. All right, this one to this one to this one, Phil. And then we need to do the other ones. So this guy to this guy uh, to this guy. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, this one to this one to this one, Phil. And there we go. Nice MBT turret. I think, I honestly, I, 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 that, that looks good. That looks good. I'm lost for words. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Um, but yeah, I think we've we've done all right there. So now we need to design everything else on this. There is a lot of detail that needs to go on this that hopefully will make it look better uh, than it currently is. Uh, or than it currently looks. Um, and that should be good. I don't know what to do with the back end either. Whether we leave it boxy or whether we try and do something with it. I'm unsure. All right, we're going to do something with it. Let's uh, let's try it anyway. So go to faces, grab this one, and actually this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Extend. There we go. And we'll bring those guys backwards like so, because I think that makes it look nicer. We're then going to grab these two and extend those up, just like so. We can have a little door in the middle, uh, which will make it nicer too. And we're going to extend these guys slightly down as well, because we can. And, you know, if the reasoning is because we can, that's fine. Uh, lights. Okay. Uh, lights. Where are they? Lights. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and obviously add these to the edges over here. Uh, and it is worth mentioning as well, actually. A lot of the edges on this tank are very flat. Um, but I'm going off like real MBT designs. So I think that's okay. All right. Next thing. Uh, lights on the front. I don't know where the lights on the front should go. So actually, let's, let's just continue with the back for now. So we're going to have a crew hatch. It is going to go on the rear. Clearly, this is probably not the best thing to do, but we are going to do it. So there you go. Uh, viewports. I obviously don't think we need viewports on the back, so we're not going to do that. Storages. This is where things might be good. Um, I quite like the idea of having some of these. Maybe even if they're tiny, uh, just there. And then I really, 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 really uh, want to add some fuel tanks. I do. And I want them to go here. And I want them to be big. Um, but I don't know where actually. Maybe even just there. There we go. If they're that big and they can go on the rear like that. Okay, we're going to stretch them and push them in. Actually, we'll just push them in to there. And I might make them slightly bigger. There we go. Okay, I think that's... It's weird. I think that's weird, but I think it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether I like it. I'm not sure. All right, we're also going to put our fuel tanks as well at the back. Uh, that makes sense. We're going to go ahead and just have like 120 liters in instead of uh, 600, because that's quite a lot, 600. Uh, we're going to add these guys very small, as if they're going to carry some stuff right there. And we're going to add some other stuff too. For example, uh, these guys. I actually really, really like adding these to tanks. So we're going to add those guys right there. And we're going to also put them right here to almost protect the uh, the fuel tanks. That's sort of what they do there. We're also going to go ahead and attach that to there and there. To also try and protect the light. Uh, which we're also going to put uh, these guys above and also below. There we go. So it looks like we're protecting the little lights on the back. That doesn't look too bad. Ah. Alright, we need to add more. We need to add more. I want it to look really good. Uh, we're going to attach that above that one and that above that one. And that is fine. I don't know whether there's much else we can really add to this to make it look better. So I might just leave it as is. Uh, those guys can go right there. Um, anything else that would go like on the bottom of this? I don't think there is. I, I really don't think there's anything that would go down here. Um, I'm going to add this anyway. Mm, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and actually push it in. So it might look a bit weird, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Hopefully you guys can see it, because it's actually quite dark in there. Alright, next thing. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and put the engine stuff on now. So let's go to engine itself. Yes, go to vents. And we're going to go ahead and make really, really tiny vents. Now, if you guys haven't seen me do this before, uh, essentially what I'm doing is making a really big vent out of a lot of little tiny vents. That's it. That's what I'm doing. So these guys are going to go right here. Like this. We're going to continue it sideways. Just like so. And then we go to the other side. We turn them around. And we do this. Uh, all the way backwards. Uh, actually, we'll start in the middle. Starting in the middle is probably the best best way of doing this. And for some reason, they are bigger. <laughs> Why are they bigger? That doesn't make sense. Alright, here we go. Uh, put that guy right there, like so. Continue it out sideways. 
Trying to put them all in the same position, obviously. As each other, and inwards a lot to around there. Alright, what do we think of that? I think that's okay, but I think we need two racks of them. I feel like we do need two racks of them, because that looks too small. Unless that's just a vent that goes there, and then we can add some big vents in front. Uh, that are obviously have to be a little bit smaller to fit under the turret, but will actually fit in there. Angle them down a little bit? Yeah, okay, that works. Um, the other thing is, as well, actually, if we go to the turret, I feel like I do want to raise this guy up, and obviously the one on the other side, just a little bit, because um, I think that looks better. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, and I guess it shouldn't really be flat. So we're going to go ahead and extend these guys yet again, and uh, angle it inwards quite a lot, and bring it inwards as well, like squidge it, I guess. We're going to do some squidging, and leave it like that. All right, maybe even stretch it out a little bit more. So, like this. There you go. Is that weird? Is that weird? Or is that okay? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. All right, it's time to add an exhaust as well. So, back to mobility. To engine, exhaust, we're going to use these guys. I feel like they look the most modern. And we're going to shove it in between all of this stuff that we've added right here. It's going to be angled down, so it actually fires it down and backwards. That's okay. Um, and yeah, that actually, that is fine. Uh, I feel like we need to add more, like, decorations up here. Decorations? We're building tanks and I'm thinking decorations. Isn't that weird? I think that's pretty strange. Um, anywho, <laughs> that is what we're doing. I kind of feel like adding these. It's like, it's a, just a bit of detail. Um, detail that we probably don't need. But detail that might look cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this. Because it's it's a bit odd. It is a little bit of an odd thing. Uh, but if we grab both of them, because they are currently glitching out like crazy, if we extend them down a tiny touch, then we just get the decoration instead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep those. All right, we're going to do that little trick that I did before on the front end. Uh, this is just to give it a little bit of extra detail. So whack these on the front like this. Uh, go ahead and squidge them so that they're not very big. There you go, and make them wider so that they actually fit in there. And then push them backwards so that they actually go inside. Uh, drop them down so that they fit. Uh, push it in a little bit more, again so that they fit a little bit better. Uh, drop it down even further. Make them slightly bigger. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And leave them like that. So it gives a little bit of extra detail on the front. Doesn't really do much, but it's there. Okay, next thing. So, we want the driver, okay? And on modern modern MBTs or whatever, they sort of have driver's uh, compartment bits that look a lot like this. So, we're going to go ahead and incorporate this into our design, um, which is, of course, our commander's cupola. Um, it's going to go on the front. Not quite as angled as that, but it is going to go on the front. Uh, and we're going to leave it... I guess, I guess maybe it is going to be as angled as that. Uh, but I want to squidge it down so it doesn't look so bad. Because it's very tall at the minute. Um, that looks a bit weird. So, really, the front of this tank should be more flat. Uh, or more flat than it is. And unfortunately, I haven't managed to do that. Uh, but it is something that maybe I should do. I should have done. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if we leave that like that, we go to viewports. Uh, we can then add the driver's view to here. Make it bigger. Um bring it upwards and actually slot it into this, uh, which is where our driver and our commander are going to go. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I could have made that look way better, but yeah, maybe it's just too big. All right, angle this, do this, there we go. So we squidged it a little bit. Let's squidge it a tiny bit more. Uh, can I squidge it down even more? I can. There you go. And then grab this guy, move it backwards so that it fits in there. I think that's okay. I think that's alright. Does it move? It does move. The gun moves too. Oh, look at that turret though. <laughs> that turret is huge. That turret is huge. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Okie dokie. So, we're going to go to the front now and we're going to design how we want the front end to look. So, let's go ahead and drop these guys into there. Those are going to be our front lights. Whether we like them or whether we don't like them, we need them. So, they're going to stay there. Uh, I don't know what else we we're actually going to put around this, but I feel like we need some more stuff. Alright, these things are stuff, aren't they? So we're going to go ahead and make these quite big. Uh, and drop them in so that they uh, they actually just pop up out the front. Uh, again, 
Don't know whether we need them, but they, they do seem to... Oh, they look like they would work and be good. So we're going to go and have them. We're going to go and drop these guys in too. To make it more modern, we're going to get rid of the riveted bit around the side and just lower them in. There you go. Good. All right, it's Commander's Cupola time as well. So we're going to go ahead and shove this guy. Uh, we're going to make it really big. And we're going to put it off to the side slightly like so. And we're going to squidge it down. Uh, and we're going to actually have two of them, I feel. So we'll put them actually right next to each other. If I can grab this, we can have two. We're going to whack them on both sides like so. Uh, one side is not going to have a machine gun. The other side is going to have a machine gun. So we're going to go ahead and do this. There you go. Um, it's fine. There's not very much going on on the top of this, but sure. Why not? All right, we need more things. Uh, these guys are going to come up here, and we're going to have them on both sides, and we're going to make them even bigger, and we're going to go ahead and slot them in there. There we go. Uh, if we can bring these guys down and in, that would be fantastic. And do it again and again and again, because there's going to be quite a lot of these on board the tank. So there we go. I'm actually going to leave the plate showing, too, because I think that's cool. Anyway, uh, lower all of these in. There we go. Awesome. So now we've got three of those on there. We're also going to actually add some on the back. Um, maybe just two. So one there. Okay, and one next to it looking pretty much backwards. There we go. Just like so. Okay, so now we've added a lot more detail using those. I want to add some sort of structure as well on this um, that is huge. Like those bars that you can add everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, whether it's going to look good or whether it's going to look bad, I'm unsure. Um, but we can, we can try it and see what it looks like, uh, at least. So we're going to go ahead and do this and this. And maybe three. I'm going to start with three. We're then going to move them. Uh, upwards. Yeah, okay. So far, weird. <laughs> so far, so weird. Alright, put that there. Put that there. Okay, and then we're going to continue it around the front, but only with this guy. And if I can put that guy there, but make it squishier. Don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, and then another one on the back end right here. Bit odd. In fact, this is looking very weird. Let's go and angle that down so it fits. And then... This guy? Yeah, so I was trying to make like a cage, but... I don't feel like it worked quite as well as I wanted it to. But we can keep it. I don't know whether I should. <laughs> I don't know whether I should. I, I feel like I like it, but at the same time... I, I don't know whether I do. I actually don't know. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and attach these guys up here. We're going to go ahead and attach another one of these. Uh, another set of those up there too. And we're going to go ahead and add some towards the middle as well. So right there. And also right here. There you go. Alright, there's a lot of, lot of stuff going on on this. There's a lot of stuff going on on this actually. So let's attach these guys to the back of the turret. Uh, we've already got a set right there. We've already got a set right there too. Um, I'm actually going to try and position a few of these on the front end as well. So next to that, we're going to make some right here to defend the lights. From incoming anythings. <laughs> from incoming anythings. I, I mean, I think that's fair. Okay, move this in. Grab another one of these. Put it on the other side. Like this. Spin it so that it actually fits. And yeah. I don't see why not. I think that works. Alright, so I'm hopefully going to make this look nicer by doing this. I, I don't know whether this is going to be something that works, but let's go and attach that to there. We're then going to get another one and attach it to here. We're then going to grab another one, and I'm going to attach those two together, but obviously it needs to be smaller. Um, but I'm not going to make it super small, so we're just going to squidge it this way. And then hopefully... I can move it into position where it attaches them all together. It looks odd. It looks very odd. Hmm. Da 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 da! Sleeping bags! Everybody needs a sleeping bag, am I right? So, this guy is gonna go here. I don't know whether you'd really have sleeping bags. They don't really do it this way anymore, so... Uh, I don't think you'd really have those. But I'm gonna add them anyway, because I can. We're also gonna make this really small, and stretch it out across there. And actually slim it down a lot more as well. Uh, and then, we're actually gonna add some utilities right here. Because clearly we can fit them. So they're going to go right there. 
And then on the other side, we're going to add these, just in case they are necessary, which they are not. But there you go. We're going to add them anyway. And what else would we have? I'm going to add these because I can. So on both sides, we're going to add two tarps on the rear. Yeah. I feel like they actually fit. They work. Um, we're also going to go ahead and make some really tiny ones of these. We're going to squidge them in, but we're going to make them really long. There we go. Just adds a tiny bit of detail to the side that we don't have otherwise. So we'll do that, and we'll push them in slightly as well. There you go. Okay, good. All right, next thing then is these guys. Um, and we're going to add quite a lot of these. So I am actually going to go ahead and do it uh, off camera, and then I'll be back with you. Uh, what I am going to do before we do that, though, is stretch these guys upwards so that they actually look like ballistic plates or, w or whatever you'd call them. I think they are actually ballistic plates. But anywho, uh, we're going to go with it. Obviously, in-game, they're not. They're not ballistic plates in-game. But we could make them work. We're not going to. All right, so I feel like I should show you guys what I've actually, actually got up to. So as you guys can see, I've added uh, some of the things up here. I've added them on the turrets, and I've added them all over the front of this. Uh, I haven't put them where the uh, the lights are because I couldn't. Um, I have messed these guys up a little bit because they've went into there, but you can't really see it, so it doesn't overly matter. Um, and I haven't done it down the sides either because, realistically, what are you protecting there? Not very much. In this game, you're protecting everything, but it doesn't matter. Anywho, uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue adding these guys on. I'm not entirely sure where to... So, you know when they're just angled like this? I don't know where to put them, so we're going to just line them up. Um, and I don't, also don't know if I like them being all different sizes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, but that's okay. So, yeah. Anywho, uh, I'm going to do some more, and I'll be back with you guys again very soon. All right, so uh, obviously we've added all of the stuff that we uh, we we said we were going to add, which is pretty nice. Uh, what I'm going to do now is have a little look at this. Obviously, this has a bit of a pattern on it, and I quite like it. So what I'm going to do is try and attach it to there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and stretch it as much as possible. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, I would love to skinny this out. There we go. And we can use this uh, for some padding uh, on the top. Yeah. That looks pretty good, actually. We're then going to go ahead and add another one because, again, we can. So let's go ahead and attach that to there. Push it inwards so that it fits. And send it backwards again so that it fits a little bit more. There we go. Bosh. Yes. All right. Turn the gun around, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, that fits, it works. I like it. Okay, so next thing we're going to do then is go to save it. We're actually going to go ahead and save it straight away. There you go. Go to firepower and add some ammunition. Clearly we need some. So we're going to go with 12 rounds. Actually, 6 rounds. 6 rounds seems good in the, uh, the turret. There you go. We're then going to go with an extra... Uh, da, 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 12, uh, 24, an extra 24 rounds, yeah, okay, that works, inside of the vehicle, there we go, bam, right there like that, excellent, that's not too bad, we're also going to actually have to add armor to this as well, because at the minute it weighs 29 tons, it's going to weigh a little bit more than that, because there's going to be a lot of armor on this, uh, and hopefully, it'll be good in the end, I think it will be. I think it will be. The turret needs to be faster. It needs to be way faster. Uh, so, elevation, torque. Uh, it needs to be more. We're going to double it. There you go. Uh, and to make it faster... I don't know. We're going to leave it at six. There you go. All right, so now we can raise it up. All right, we can lower it down. It takes some time, but it's not as slow as it was. So there you go. Let's see if we can uh, shoot something. Uh, MBT2. So this is the, uh... Okay, I, I misjudged that because it actually has a gun that shoots. Um, and I don't have any armor yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some armor to this. One second. Okay, so uh, let's go to compartments. Yes, go to faces. Yes, uh, the main turret is actually going to be armored to the teeth. Uh, and what that means is uh, it's actually going to have a lot of armor. So we're going to go with 200. Yeah, 200. There you go. We almost weigh as much as an Abrams. Uh, and when I say that, that is what? 50 tons? 55 tons? Something like that? Uh, we are going to weigh more than an Abrams. We are. We don't have the uh, the advantage of having, like, um, 
reactive armor or anything like that. We have to use actual steel plates, uh, unfortunately, because that's the way the game works. But um, it is World War II, so that's fine. Uh, the side is only going to be like 95. Oh, we're going to go with 100. 100 mil of armor. There you go. We're going to go to the bottom on the sides. And that's on both sides. We're going to go with not very much there, like 50. We currently weigh 70 tons. That's ridiculous. We are going to weigh a lot more than that very soon as well. Um, because we are going to armor up the back of this. Yeah, we are. We're also going to armor up other bits of it too. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's armor up these guys on the side as well, because we can. And that's all right. Okay, good. We're going to armor up this and this. This, 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 and that's it. Okay, so these are all going to be only like 50. Actually, let's go with 65. Yes, we've added a lot more weight, but that's okay. Uh, the top piece... This is usually where, like, my downfall is, um, because I don't usually armor up the top. I don't do it. I, I just don't. Um, but I should. <laughs> so that's the thing. Alright, armor up all of this to the same amount. There you go. Underneath the turret. Yes. Even further and even further. This is all going to be about 60. There you go. It's the top of it, but that's fine. Uh, as for the side of the gun, uh, the side of the turret, and also the rear of the turret, it's going to be the same. Uh, it's going to be quite big. Quite a lot. Uh, and the top, I guess. Yeah, sure, we could do the top. Uh, these guys as well. No, not the top. They're going to be like 150. Yep, we weigh 92 tons. <laughs> we weigh 92 tons already, and this bit's going to be like 6, 65, 7, 60. We go with 60. So the front end is fully armored up. The top is armored. Everywhere actually has armor. Here we go. Look at this. Bosh. The sides look like, like they don't have very much armor, but that's the, um, that's the plates on the side. So don't worry about that. Uh, and everything else is armored. Okay. This is going to be interesting to see how this goes. The bottom isn't armored at all. Um, so we're going to give it a tiny bit. There you go. We weigh 101 tons. Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. But anyway, spawn it in. Wait, did I armor up the other bit? Did I armor up this? Yes. Okay, uh, there's more to do, actually. Sorry, firepower. Yes, cannon. Uh, yes. I need to... The base of that needs to be 250, because that's the mantlet armor. Okay, good. And what else do we need to do? I'm going to make it APHE. We have a really big cannon in this. Like, it is actually huge. So that's good. Um... There's other things that I really need to do and I can't remember. I don't know. We've got enough room in here to add more loaders too. So we're going to add more loader space to make it quicker at reloading. Because uh, I think that would be good. But the radio man is also going to be the driver. Okay. Um, there's other things that I need to do and I've remembered. We need to do... Uh, basket space doesn't need to be any bigger. The height of it doesn't need to be any bigger. The armor thickness, sure. Uh, and then we need to increase the torque on this. To make sure it spins quicker. There you go. 102 tons. I don't think that's that bad. We also need a radio antenna. Okay, we could do that. Here we go. Radio antenna. Just go ahead and attach these guys to the back. And there we go. All right, cool. So spawn in MBT2. It is going to shoot us first. It tracked us. But we destroyed it in one. I think we've uh, built something quite strong here. Hopefully. I did get tracked straight away, so we might as well... We might as well modify that a little bit. Let's go ahead and make our track thickness massive. There you go. As big as it can possibly be. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and lower this down so it doesn't pop through the top. All right. Save. We've done. We're done. We're done. We're going to put this in a war battle now. We have to. Oh, our reload time is too long. I'm going to go ahead and modify that real quick. Okay. I did a slight modification. I added these two to the top of here, and I've also added this big... Oh, I almost said it. I almost said it. I'm going to say it. The big ass basket on the back. I don't know why I can't say that. I'm sure I, it's fine. Anywho, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this thing into a battle and uh, see if we can win. Um, obviously, that's the main aim of this game. You have to try and win the battles. So uh, let's go try and win the battles. This is going to be great. Scenarios. Um, it is a late war one, so we should probably do it on Tiger. If I don't win this now, I'm going to cry. I'm hoping I do. Um, I think there's only going to be me, though. 
Oh, you know what? Engine. <laughs> Our engine sucks. Uh, so go to advanced. It's only a six cylinder. Let's make it huge. Make it absolutely ginormous. And go. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with this. How much do we weigh now? I didn't get to see. Doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh, yes! This thing looks awesome. It looks so good. All right, let's get ourselves in a nice defensive position anyway. Oh, the enemy has spawned. There is six of them. Luckily, I have 24 plus six rounds. So, 30 rounds uh, to take out six guys. Hopefully, that's okay. All right, we're going to go around. We are sinking in the snow, but I'm sure that's okay. I'm getting shot already. Uh, someone's trying to shoot me, but I don't know where they are. Okay, I've went to a defensive position. We can see two enemies. Unfortunately, I can't shoot any of them because they're behind trees. This guy. Alright, that one's dead. This guy's now coming out. Okay, I hit a tree. Yikes. Okay, is the tree dead now? Oh. There we go. Excellent. Let's turn ourselves sideways. We need to be able to, like, point ourselves towards the enemy. Remember, we got all of our armor pretty much on the front. So we need to watch out for that. Uh... Oh. I don't even know where I got shot from there. Is that a guy? I keep shooting the trees! My guys! No! Where is he? Oh, it dropped. The The drop on this gun is is actually quite insane. Uh, he's gone. Alright, someone else is trying to shoot me from there. I see the rounds coming in, I just don't see the person. I don't see the tank. Oh, it's because it's like hiding in the trees. I don't know. I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay, maybe I should drive towards them, but I'm actually going to go ahead and reverse. Down this hill. Uh, away from them. And then we're going to actually like drive into battle again if that makes any sense we're gonna re-engage i think this is a good way of doing it uh because then we can figure out where they are and take them one at a time so here's another guy the armor on this is quite insane actually getting through it okay maybe i shoot it underneath there we go okay excellent we found its weakness we found its weakness yes all right where else are we shooting Someone else is shooting me from back there somewhere. Where you at? Where you at? I don't know. Uh. Ooh. I don't know where I just... Where, where is that? Alright, keep an eye out. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> when I don't know where they are. Oh, somewhere over there. I wasn't looking at my screen. <laughs> okay, uh... See, because they could be in the trees and see us. Oh, I see you. Okay. Right. There is two enemies remaining. I know one of them, at least, is on our left. And I'm going to go ahead and hedge my bets and say that both of them are on our left. I don't know whether that's true. But it might be. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's have a little looky over here. Let's see if we can find them. Do, 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 do. If anything, the, 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 the worst thing that can happen to me right now is I get shot in the bum. Alright, I don't want to get shot in the bum. Uh, the second worst thing is to, to, to get shot in the side. Um, and I am pointing my side towards them currently. So that's not amazing. There's the guy. What is he in? I don't know what that is. But he's bouncing. I just shot the tree. Hang on. There we go. Okay, right. And then I don't know where the last guy is. And this is always an issue. I don't know where they are. But you know what? We've won anyway. We've totally won anyway. This is crazy. The tank does so well. Okay, I genuinely can't find it. I've driven around, like, all over the place. And I don't know where this last tank is. So, I'm going to go ahead and assume that I've just won this. And we're going to go on to the next mission. In fact, we're going to go into a previous mission to see if it can take out the King Tiger. Let's do that first. Oh, I forgot. You have to be 75 tons on this one. I forgot about that. Is there a way for me to actually remove that? Uh, gameplay budget size is 100%. Uh, key mapping? No. Okay, I don't know. 
All right, never mind. I can't do it because you have to be uh, you have to be lighter than me. But that's okay because now we're on the fields map and uh, we're gonna do our job here instead. We're gonna annihilate whatever comes at us. It's just it's just what's gonna happen. This is gonna be great. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. There you go. The birds have flown away. Uh, it is six versus one. Uh, but if they are only light tanks, but still, if they do get behind me, I might have an issue. Um, because my gun doesn't turn that quick. But uh, if we can get ourselves in a position to shoot them while they're far enough away, then we should be good. All right, here we go. One down. Okay, next up. Two down. Next one. Three down. Okay, and then the other one should be on my right. Yeah, and we're going to drive towards them. Silly idea, I know, but we're going to do it. In fact, is there three that... Oh, my. They're really going for it. Look at them. Look at them. They're off. All right, that one was turned around first. That one's dead. And... Okay, I was going to say, if any of those actually managed to um, stop around, I would be surprised. Now we're on to the tanks that might actually be able to stop around. We'll see, though. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to go ahead and try and take a position on the hill on the left. And hopefully that'll be good. What is shooting at me? I need to figure out what they are. They're togs. Okay, they're tog twos. We're good. <laughs> I think we're, I think we'll be fine. Maybe. All right, I'm going to keep rolling so that you guys can see whether I die or not. All right, here we go. Because they are sort of shooting me in the side, which is not, not amazing. Um, but we're going to keep going. And I'm going to get the high ground and then hopefully destroy all of them. I'm the king of the castle. I'm the king of the castle. All right, okay. Uh, there is a tog two right there. I don't see anyone else. We'll wait for him to cross over this hill. And then we will shoot the man, the man tank. All right, it didn't go through. I didn't hit it very well, but it didn't go through. There you go. Okay, hit it on its flat face. That's good. Nice. All right, continue. There is another tug two up here. There's another one just down the hill from us. And there's another two right there. Okay, I need to get myself in a nice position for this. I don't think that guy on the left will come over the hill. So we'll, we'll, we'll leave them there. And we'll deal with these guys first. Okay, everybody shoot me all at once. The guy is actually over the hill. <laughs> he did actually manage to get over. Okay, hang up. There we go. Nice. Okay. That guy's so far away, but that's okay. Didn't manage to kill him. We just shot each other's round midair again. Okay. He's dead? Okay. No, is he dead? I think he's dead. Okay, who's, ne who's next? There's a guy there. I can just about see. He's dead. Okay, and then there's a guy right here, and he is the last one. This tank is ruinous. It is actually ruinous. It's killing everything. It is killing everything and withstanding everything that they throw at it. See? See? There you go. Alright, nice. Anywho, uh, this has actually been really good. I like it. Uh, but I am going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to see more videos like this one where it's a little bit longer, but we build something a little bit better, then let me know in the comments down below. But honestly, I think we've done a pretty good job. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. All right, so I was just taking a few pictures of this and I decided I wanted to change it slightly because this is something that I don't normally do. But what I'm going to do is make this section 0.5, I guess. Uh, the start... Actually, wait, 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 wait. We need to actually extend it loads more. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. this section is going to be very tiny. Uh, but the end of it is going to be about 50. Yes, okay, good. The start of this one is going to be 50. Yes, and then the end of it is going to be 50. Bosch, and then we're going to make this slightly longer, like so, uh, to hopefully make everything fit in. There you go. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the last bit. Uh, da -da -da -da. There we go. And then stretch it so that it's big. And that's okay. We're going to go ahead and make this bit slightly bigger too. And there we go. I just think that looks cooler, so we're going to leave it like that, with that little bit in the middle. Okay, cool. I just wanted to add that. I just wanted to add that. And the last thing as well, sorry, there is more. There is more. I didn't actually put anything on the side of this. I do feel like it looks German, uh, so we might make it German, but I don't know. 
I don't know, I feel like it could do with a start. Maybe we can make it Polish. But what I do with my MBTs is I make them Swedish. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It is going to be a Swedish MBT. Bit strange, but there you go. Yeah.